glass. Hey, there's plenty of room on either side. Do you have to come bullying in here between us? I didn't see you. You interrupted a very important discussion on serious matters regarding big things. Me and my brothers don't like it. Gentlemen, gentlemen, no trouble, please. What's eating you, tall man? Did you have words with those Baker brothers? Who? Those four rhinos. No. It's told around they're quarrelsome citizens. Gentlemen, let's consider the incident closed. Watch our tempers. Maybe I ought to go apologize. More whiskey. <laughs> little motel. Uh, let's go along to cabin number one. I'll show you something there. The bathroom. You should have seen the blood. The whole, the whole place was, well, it's, it's too horrible to describe. Dreadful. Well, the murderer, you see, crept in here. Very slowly, of course, the shower was on, there was no sound. And, uh... What do you want? Get out of here, I'll call the Go ahead, call him. Going on a trip, huh? Yes. Going away for the weekend. Sailing for Buenos Aires tomorrow, some weekend. I'll send you a postcard. Now get out of here. Where are you going with George Reynolds? I've heard of him. I suppose you've never heard of Eugene Phillips either. Just who are you? What do you want? Never mind who I am. Where's Reynolds? If you think you can scare me, you're crazy. Look, I know that Phillips came here yesterday. And right after he left, he was pushed out of a six-story window. Pushed? Phillips committed suicide. Your playmate Reynolds murdered Phillips. And then he went up to San Francisco to get me. Because I knew about a certain bill of sale. I don't know what you're talking about. You're in this right up to your pretty little neck. Get your hands up. Give me your wallet. Frank, be a little. Charlie. All right, now where's Reynolds? I don't know. I don't know where he is. Yeah? Who's paying for this trip? I am. The first class trip to Buenos Aires on a model salary. Don't make me laugh. If I were a man, I'd punch your dirty face in. Monsieur, your nose. Your nose is rather large. Brother, is that all? Well, of course it ah, is. Ah, no, young sir, you're too simple. You might have said a great many things. For example, thus. Aggressive. I, sir, if that nose were mine, I'd have it amputated on the spot. Descriptive. Tis a rock, a crag, a cape. A cape? Say rather a peninsula. Kindly. Ah, do you love the little birds so much that when they come and sing to you, you give them this to perch on? Cautious. Take care. A weight like that might make you top-heavy. Military. Beware. A secret weapon. These, my dear sir, are things you might have said. But wit, not so. You never had an atom. And of letters, you need but three to write you down. A. S. S. I want to live again. I want to live again. Please, God, let me live again. <laughs> George! George! You all right? Hey, what's the matter? Now get out of here, Bert, or I'll hit you again. Get out of here. What's the Sam Hill you yelling for, George? You... George? Bert, do you know me? Know you? Huh. You kidding? I've been looking all over town trying to find you. Hey, your mouth's bleeding. Are you sure you're all right? What the... <laughs> My mouth bleeding, Bert! My mouth bleeding! Doo-doo pedals! Doo-doo... There they are! What do you know about this? Merry Christmas! Well, Merry Christmas! Merry, Merry! You're insane. The cellar's the safest place. I'm telling you, they can't get in here. And I'm telling you, those things turned over our car. Oh, hell, any good five men can do that. That's my point. Only there's not going to be five or even ten. There's going to be 20, 30, 
maybe a hundred of those things. And as soon as they know we're here, this place is going to be crawling with them. Look, you can do whatever you like. I'm going back down to the cellar, and you better decide. Because I'm going to board up that door, and I'm not going to unlock it again, no matter what happens. Once more unto the breach, dear friends, once more, or close the wall up with our English dead. In peace there's nothing so becomes a man as modest stillness and humility. But when the blast of war blows in our ears, then imitate the action of the tiger. Stiffen the sinews, conjure up the blood, then lend the eye a terrible aspect. Let it pry through the portage of the head like the brass cannon. Let the brow overwhelm it. Now set the teeth and stretch the nostril wide. Hold hard the breath and bend up every spirit to his full height. Cry God for Harry, England, and St. George! now to Lakehurst, New Jersey. The ship is riding majestically toward us. It's practically standing still now. They've dropped ropes out of the nose of the ship. The back motors of the ship are just holding it uh, just enough to keep it from... It's burst into flames. Get it started. Get it started. It's rising. It's rising. It's rising. Terrible. Oh, my. Get out of the way, please. It's running and bursting into flames and, and it's falling on the morning fast. And all the folks between us, this is terrible. This is the one of the worst catastrophes in the world. Oh, it's four or five hundred feet into the sky. It's a terrific crash, ladies and gentlemen. The smoke and the flames now. And the flame is crashing to the ground. Oh, the humanity. No, thank you, Baron. I've just come from the stables. My horse is gone. Your horse is gone? I believe it was stolen, Baron. How dare you take that tone with me? I don't mean to be abrupt, but I will have answers. Well? Now, why did you remove the portrait of the Baroness from the wall? I sent it away for renovation. The, the dampness of these walls puts a mold on the pigment. Can you also explain the violin music and the girl in the chapel last night? You saw her again. So you admit there's a girl? Ilsa. Ilsa, is that her name? Answer me, Baron. Please, please leave me in peace. If I leave you now, Baron, I will come back with a company of my men and I will tear this place down around your ears until I find her. Is that clear? Very clear. Thank you. 